This is Barbara Reese reporting for This Week in East Brunswick. We're here at the East Brunswick Art and Music Festival. There's food, art, and fun for everyone. Come join us. We have uh, about close to 50 uh, fine arts and crafters. Um, there's about 10 to 12 food trucks. Uh, we have some artists and food vendors, uh, the pickle guide everybody loves, and, and people of that nature. And we have a bunch of kids' activities uh, going on as well. And uh, new this year, we have a, uh, a craft uh, beer tent that the East Brunswick VFW is. Uh, is sponsoring all the, all the uh, proceeds will go to their uh, great causes and we have uh, live entertainment going on as well throughout the day uh, the DeLoreans and the Central Jersey Wind Ensemble is coming up next so it's, 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 it's a nice, neat day for, uh, for the town you have a little something for everybody yeah it seems that way uh, we try to you know do a little something for families as well as uh, mom and dads as well so uh, try to get everything going for uh, for the for the folks in EB yeah this event uh, really started in an infancy 16 years ago as a fine art competition we kind of created a little festival atmosphere around it and uh, it seems to be working out quite well uh, but um, there are uh, cash prizes for the winners of certain uh, mediums art mediums and uh, we have uh, the judging going on actually right now as we speak and uh, all those uh, folks who are lucky enough to uh, go home a winner uh, will be quite happy. Yeah. So it's a way to encourage art in our town as well as to have a good time. It is, yeah. We have a lot of local uh, artists who are really, really uh, talented folks. Uh, they, you'd be surprised how many people, uh, especially even from town, uh, have a ton of talent here. And so it's a good way to uh, uh, expose their talents as well to, uh, to the community. We're really concentrating on recognizing that in our township there are 21 languages spoken. So 21 languages implies that there's 21 cultural differences and backgrounds. And we're, I would say our mission is to start building bridges and not walls uh, as, as far as what we hear. And we want to, uh, I, I'd like to learn more about Indian art and Indian cultures and, and Korean music and Egyptian, Middle Eastern. There's so much to know out there. and our town's ready to really take that leap. Well, that's exciting to see a lot of these folks here today and we're learning so much. I, I hope so, and then even at this event, I've walked around, the artists are, are amazing, and East Brunswick concentrates a lot on the arts community. Art is a very broad word. Uh, it could be food art, it could be music, it could be what's typically painting, and what I, what I see even in this festival, which are artists from all over the state and some local, it's it's really different. It's not your father's art festival anymore. It, it's much it's much different than that. And I've seen some creativity here that is just marvelous. Well, we've been doing this obviously for a couple of years now, but we changed the name, calling it now the Arts Festival, because the, um, the the concept being that we're such a diverse community here that has so many different cultures, so many different languages, so many different um, uh, people from so many different backgrounds that we wanted to celebrate that. And the one thing that sort of ties all of that together is art. You know, there's there's no art that art seems to be that uh, universal language and so if you go from booth to booth you will see um some that celebrate different cultures, some that just it doesn't really matter. We're all American. Um, Human Relations Council has their booth set up like they do every year, and they're doing rocks that we get that put around the uh, the pond down by the uh, municipal building, and uh, kind of say what you want, and it, it speaks to the the theme that seems to be recurring here in East Brunswick, and that is we're such an open and welcome community. Well, we're very fortunate to live here, and we thank you for all that you do, Mayor. And there's a lot of different food today, and yes. a little bit of something for everybody. Exactly. Exactly, and that's that also same theme, different foods, different cultures, and we want people to get out and to uh, um, enjoy the weather, enjoy the, the culture that's here, and um, and, and take advantage and, and recognize that uh, that the town and our Parks and Rec Department go to such extreme to make sure that we provide something for everybody. So tell us about the Diversity Rocks. That's a very fun program I see you're doing. Yes, it is. It's an opportunity for you to have 
positive messages, and it's cathartic too. Um, and we're going to put them around the municipal pond in July. So stay tuned. We're going to have another event in July where you will see your your rock that you, um, you know, decided to paint something positive or even like love, show love, or just put your name on it. But it is something that I see is gathering a lot of people at our booth, so much so that we had to go get some more rocks. <laughs> Well, about 20 years ago, I was lucky enough to take the stained glass class that's run through the East Brunswick Department of Recreation. I enjoyed that. Um, stained glass was a little too exacting for me, and I had the glass laying around still, and I started breaking it up, and, you know, things have just uh, come along from there. And uh, where do you get your inspiration for your designs? Some of my designs come from uh, the colors that are in the plates that I use in the circular pieces. Um, and others just come from a color palette usually. I have inspiration from all sources, uh, which my wife and I travel a lot. And um, wherever we go, you know, she takes pictures and I take pictures. I usually take pictures that I can make into paintings, but she takes all kinds of other pictures, you know. And, uh, you know, when, when I travel, I see things that I like, you know, and I, I uh, you know, uh, keep those, those f photos, you know, and I, and I also use the internet a lot. I use, you know, the, the, there's a lot, there's a wealth of information in the internet. I think nowadays, you know, any artist can really, you know, become good just by, you know, seeing what's in the, in the internet and, and what, what's there for you, you know, like a lot of painters give you demonstrations and how to do techniques and all that. So, you know, it's, it's a good thing. Drawing was always a hobby for me as a child, and I've always loved to draw. It wasn't until I was having kids and my, I had a daughter, she inspired me, and they, it, they were of age to go back to school, so I was, because I had worked in an office for many years, so I was faced with, you know, do I go back to an office job or do I follow my passion? So it really spiraled, basically, since, I would say, 2011. And, and what would be your advice to young artists that say are in school now and thinking of becoming art, artists? How would you encourage them? Just reach for the stars, man. Your whole, you have your whole world ahead of you. The world is your oyster. Go for it. If you believe in yourself, you can make it work. This is how I relax. So for me, it's where I want to be at the moment is what inspires me to make the jewelry. I like to work with different stones how different shapes of stones and how they come together because some stones are big but then they come together as with smaller stones as one piece and it's just amazing how it works out. What do you like about this festival today? Um, I like the paintings. Why is it fun to be here? Um, because there's plenty of stuff to do. John, uh, what did you like best about being here today? The face painting. I, I love it. We hope you've enjoyed this fun-filled day. We hope to see you here again next year. Behind the shadow.